If you love watching crime shows, then we're sure you've binged all four seasons of The Rookie. The show stars Nathan Fillion, a crime show regular, and his latest police gig is in the LAPD, where he is the rookie. In this video, we're going to talk about our thoughts on the new trailer so far and what we're expecting to see in The Rookie Season 5. First off, let's recap Season 4. Season 4 of The Rookie was entertaining. It had humor, celebrity guest appearances, action, and some drama. Let's start with something light. The audience finally got their hashtag Chen Ford moment after all this time, but now the characters are in denial. Chen and Bradford were caught up in the moment, and Chen decided to make the best of it by stealing a kiss from Tim Bradford. Both seemed surprised by how they felt after sharing a kiss, and went on to dodge every opportunity to talk about it, hoping to lose themselves in their underground drug ring mission. Pete Davidson made a guest appearance in the season finale, and of course took the humor to another level. Detective Angela finally managed to kill off her nemesis, La Fiera, that evil psycho who attempted to kidnap Angela on her literal wedding day. Oh, and Officer Jackson West was killed off minutes into the first episode of Season 4. Now, we aren't Titus Macon Jr., the man who plays Officer Jackson, but if we were, we'd be super hurt by how fast the writers wanted to get rid of our character. Good news for Officer Nolan, as he's no longer a rookie and was promoted to Police Officer 2. He'll officially be dating Firefighter Bailey Noon, but not everything is going his way, since he was ordered to spend a week in solitary confinement in a small and quiet town where he's supposed to train a local officer. A lot was going on through this season, and we're curious to know if Season 5 is going to be better. Speaking of Season 5, is Rosalind Dyer returning? Ah, uh, Rosalind Dyer is the show's most problematic antagonist. Rosalind Dyer, played by Annie Wershing, was introduced to the show in Season 2 and stayed around till Season 3. She's been a guest star slash serial killer causing chaos for the LAPD. From kidnapping Lucy Chen to getting arrested by Armstrong, Dyer has had a lot of close run-ins with the LA police departments. She was given a life sentence for her crimes after she cooperated with the DEA, but in Season 3, Nolan has the pleasure of telling her she was going to rot in jail forever. After Season 3, Rosalind Dyer was put away for good, or at least we thought. The Season 5 trailer of The Rookie dropped this week, and there was a lot of Rosalind Dyer in it. Were the writers saving her character for something big? The amount of screen time she had in the trailer hints at her return, possibly with a generous amount of scenes dedicated to her chaotic plans for the LAPD. So what is Dyer's character doing in Season 5? According to what we can tell from the trailer, Rosalind Dyer Dyer has escaped from jail, but unlike normal people who attempt a prison break and hide away in strange cities, Dyer came right back into the lives of the LAPD detectives. Seems like Rosalind went in for a sentencing hearing, or whatever criminals do, and managed to make a break for it. In the trailer, we're shown a few seconds of a woman breaking Rosalind free as she stands inside what seems like possibly a police department of some sort. Can we assume that this was an inside job? For starters, anyone who isn't the police can't carry any weapons inside the building. And secondly, Rosalind was alone with the woman who helped her escape. Why would they leave Dyer, a serial killer, with a civilian? Whoever it was was trusted enough to make sure she didn't get away. We're just predicting possibilities, honestly. A woman who has killed seven plus people must have managed to create a connection or two over the years. We hear Dyer telling Officer Nolan, people are gonna die, and you won't be able to save them, over a phone call. And not to read into things, but the scene shifts to a character on the show as soon as Dyer says the words, gonna die. Hmm, is this possibly a hint? The trailer confirms that there will be a wild goose chase to find Dyer. Around the end of the trailer, Officer Nolan is on the phone with someone asking them, what have you done? Maybe he's talking to Rosalind? It seems like a huge chunk of this season's plot is depending on a serial killer's chaos. Now, if only Pete Davidson could be a part of this fiasco. Moving on, what else can we look forward to this season? The Rookie Season 5 is set to premiere a month from now on September 25th. We know Rosalind Dyer is coming back, but what about the other characters? Let's take a look at their personal storyline. The Rookie is looking at being a rookie again, but if there were ranked for rookies, this time he'd be a rookie with more authority. Officer John Nolan is going to be a training officer in Season 5, and of course he's going to be the oldest one there. We also know that Nolan gets to pick an assignment of his choice. We wonder what it's going to be. Hashtag Chenford, will it become a thing or will it become that awkward time we don't talk about for Officer Chen and Officer Bradford? There will definitely be repercussions and some fallout from that, says Hawley while discussing Season 5 and the awaited unraveling of a romance cliffhanger. Nathan Fillion also talked about how both Chen and Bradford have such different personalities, so we're connecting the dots. According to what Holly and Fillion said, we think Bradford is going to be toxic about this, and he might end up hurting Lucy Chen in the process. We are talking about a detective show, so it only makes sense for us to do a thorough investigation of our own. We're also predicting James and Nyla will have a little side trouble of their own, at least that's what we've gathered from the trailer. Now, on to other news. A new addition to the cast. Who is it? Former undercover cop at Chicago PD 
Reed joins the cast of The Rookie for season five. Yep, Lizeth Chavez is part of the show, and we suspect she's going to add to the humor. Chavez is set to play Selena, a new rookie who had high marks at the Academy and has an easy confidence and an unconventional approach to police work. With John Nolan getting promoted to training officer, we think Selena is set to partner up with him this season. We're excited to see how former rookie and current rookie pair up together. Jenna Dewan gets frisky on the pole. Recently, fans were left stunned by Dewan's dance moves. She's been busy promoting her new movie, Let's Get Physical, and part of her promotion got a little spicy. She shows off her strong legs as she dances around the pole, basically with her body in the air. Her new movie has definitely taught her a thing or two about dance because it turns out that Dewan is freakishly good at pole dancing. She also gave fans a glimpse of her abs, making us wonder what her gym routine is. Surprisingly, Jenna Dewan practices her pole dancing moves quite often, not because she wants to keep it hot, but because she thinks it's an excellent exercise for the days when you can't hit the gym. Fans have been swooning under Dewan's Instagram post, spamming it with fire emojis, but can you really blame them? Does Sean Ashmore want to return to Marvel? Being Wesley Evers on The Rookie isn't the only thing Sean Ashmore's got going for his career. He was part of four X-Men movies on and off. He first appeared in the Marvel Universe as Iceman in 2000, and his last time was in 2014 in X-Men Days of Future Past. Even though Days of Future Past was the end for Iceman, Ashmore stays hopeful that he'll get to return for more. He spoke to Screen Rant, and this is what he had to say. Are they going to cast completely new actors and start fresh? Are they going to pull actors from the Fox X-Men trilogy into the Marvel Universe? I don't know. If it happened, would I do it? 100%. No question. Well, Wesley Evers, we hope the best for you and the superpowers that you hide so well in The Rookie. Did Sarah Shahi get married? Rumors have it that Sarah Shahi got married to her sex life co-star Adam Demos in secret. First, fans spotted her wearing an engagement ring, and now there are images of Adam Demos wearing a silver band around his finger. Yep, it's the wedding finger. They were spotted taking a casual walk in Adam Demos' hometown, Wollongong, Australia, and Adam's ring was shining brightly from a distance. It's almost like they wanted people to find out. We'll never know for sure, though. Maybe they'll tell us about it when their kids are all grown up and heading to college. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Rosalind Dyer will end up killing one of the main characters? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.